he said um he said there's nobody better in his view to, to host it which was like Wow. Now, before you came on today, I said, I'm so excited to get Stephen on anyhow, but more than usual because ITV have announced him as the new host of You Bet. <laughs> if uh, only. And you then know. everybody looked, <laughs> looked at me blankly and went, no, they you haven't. Know. I went, but, yes, they have. They but, went, no, 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 it's, it's deal or no deal. I went, oh, yeah. Yeah, but I, you do know You Bet is my favourite show in the world. Oh, yeah, and I also know that ITV want to bring it back. Are you serious? Fact. Deal or no deal will be interesting for yeah. you. Have you done it already? We did two pilots. Ha- hand, hand? Honestly, it was amazing. I watch, I've been watching a lot of the uh, American Deal or No Deal. And last night there was a guy who um, he had, a, he had a dollar and a million dollars. And he was offered $437,000. And he went, no deal. Oh. And I bet he lost. He lost. Yeah. No. Ended up with a dollar. There's a fantastic. Honestly, it was a, like, oh my God. There's a podcast about that. And it's it's a, um, hosted by our friend Dr. Katie Milkman, and it's about the US deal on a deal, and it's about the last time that happened and why you should always take the money because she, and th- and then she explained why we don't take the money uh, because we have confirmation bias and we have loss aversion and loss aversion and confirmation bias are very deeply inbuilt into our um, uh, hard drive. Do you think it's down to greed as well? I don't know. She explains it much better than I would. Um, I need to re-listen to it. It's twenty-five minutes. It's a brilliant podcast. You want, but you should listen to it before yeah, well, you do, because yeah. you're, you're you're the new Noel Edmonds. I mean, we all. I have loads of respect for Noel Edmonds. I love him. Yeah, agreed. Um, what renewed respect do you have for him after hosting two pilots? Well, the, the fact of the matter is, uh, he did it for ten years, and he's been really um, incredibly supportive. He sent out a comment saying. There's, well, if, if, for me to say it sounds a bit ignorant, but he said, um, he said, there's nobody better in his view to, to host it, which was like, wow, to hear that from him because he didn't need to say it. He's that. very generous. That's like a that. fact. Yeah, he didn't need to say it. Yeah. But having watched him do it, when people lose a massive amount of money, the way he gets out of stuff and the way he softens the blow, even though somebody's lost such a massive amount, yeah. listen, he's the master of it. And also, let, but even when you go back to Noel's house party, come on. In terms of a Saturday night TV show, it was phenomenal. Of course it was. He was the master. He wrote the book. He absolutely that he, show wrote the book. He absolutely set there in in the sort Before of him, game plan. It was brilliant. Don't get me wrong. You had your more common wise. Yes, your two Ronnies. You this, that, and the other. But all pre-recorded, all sketch shows. You know, a bit of uh, funny in front of the curtain interval skit stuff. Yeah. Uh, but big live accessible entertainment shows. He wrote the book. 